Hello, this is Greg Wagner, your instructor for CIS uh, 279, which is Java programming for the fall um, 2017 semester. I just wanted to give a quick overview in this video of what the class is expected of you and kind of just some basic stuff. Um, so it's covered in the syllabus, but also, you know, like on the first day of uh, in person class, you kind know, of the instructor go over the syllabus and kind of tell you what's important. So, this is a basic, this class basically goes over two things. It reviews the Java concepts. We're assuming since you've prereq for this class is um, CIS 120 or 131, that it's a, basically a Java class, that you basically know Java pretty well, um, at least the basics. And so we'll kind of review the basics, but mostly we'll go into advanced topics like um, kind of how to use classes more, more complicated ways to use classes, um, database programming, and GUI programming in Java. So since it's a Java class, obviously all the uh, Assignments should be included in Java. Expect about four hours of programming or classwork a week. Then the semester kind of lightens up a little bit because um, I kind of stretch out the database stuff. It's kind of a difficult topic out a few more weeks than normal stuff. But um, this should be a fun class. Um, I really like GUI programming and I hope you enjoy it too when you start doing that. Um, so to give you a background about me, my name is Greg Wagner. Um, I've been an adjunct instructor for PMA for five years now. Um, before this, I also have been teaching at Texas Tech, where I got my PhD, and uh, U of A, where I teach now currently. I'm not teaching this semester, but I will be teaching a class in the spring. Um, I work as a software developer at Raytheon. Um, that's the reason why I moved to Tucson. Uh, and my PhD was in artificial intelligence, and that's basically kind of the research I work, work I do at Raytheon. I mostly work with neural networks, if you're familiar with those, and we've been, been doing great advancements at them at Raytheon, not just a lot of AI work's been done all over the country, all over the world, not just in Silicon Valley, and we're doing some very great stuff at Raytheon. If you need to contact me, you can either email me, con contact me at Stipe, or phone call me. Um, email's probably the best way to contact me. I'll try to get back with you in 24 hours. Um, if you see me on Skype, just message me, and I'll and see if I'm available, and I'll write you back and say, yeah, call me or not. And if you need to call me on the cell phone, this is my number right there. Um, for this class, you'll need an introduction to Java programming, book. Uh, it's required text for the class. I saw it on Amazon today for like 60 bucks for the soft cover, so get that. Um, I'll put a link down below. Um, for this class, you'll need a Java version. If you've programmed Java before, you should have it on your thing. And some ID, IDE. I'll do all the demos in Eclipse, and again, I'll put a link on that, but you can use any IDE um, period. And when you turn in assignments, make sure to send in the Java instead of the dot .class. As far as grading goes, um, basic A, B, and C weights, above an, above an 89 is an A, 80 is our B, 70 is our C, 60 is our D, and below 60 is an F. As far as homeworks go, there's 65% of the homework grades are going to be programming assignments. There's nine of those. We have a few exercises where you answer a few questions. And then importantly, um, discussions. So basically every week you'll need to make every discussion you need to make three posts you can answer reply or stuff like that and I know a lot of students don't like discussions because I kind of find it tedious the reason why I like having them is I've had some training on teaching and having to explain stuff to people helps you learn a lot and you asking emailing me a question me answering it to you um, doesn't really help me a whole lot um, but having a student explain something to you helps them out quite a bit and so I have the discussions here basically to make sure that you guys are writing to each other to kind of have an interaction to help you guys learn stuff better. And so that's why I have that. So post a question, maybe post a snippet of code that you see an error, and then have another student answer them would make kind of beneficial for everybody. And also students tend to, if we have enough people answering the questions online, the re response time will be pretty quick. My email, I usually get back to the emails within 24 hours, but if you need something right away, probably the discussion board is a better place to go. And to wrap this up, if you need help, please email me or call me. I'm always, my job is to help you learn this material, and I want you to be successful. And then also, thank you for spending the five minutes to actually watch this video. If you want extra credit on this uh, contract assignment, the you know, class contract assignment, um, submit in your submission what your favorite food is, and you'll get 10% extra.